Hi guys, my name is Uriel, and welcome back to another episode of Hello Charlotte. So, just like last time, we're gonna go through this, uh, very contaminated area with lots of organic tissue. It's gonna be great. Oh, great. A dead Pythia. Poor thing. Oh, what a great way to start the episode, guys. Another dead body. Wow. I love this. It's not moving. They all look the same. We'd probably look the same to them as well, you know? <laughs> That's true. Uh, let's follow the Sea of Red. Oh my gosh. It's another one. There's so many of them. It's not moving. I wonder why they're not moving. Slaughterhouse 1. Slaughterhouse 2. Let's not enter any slaughterhouses yet. <laughs> there are so many of them. Dead. I wonder what happened here. Slaughterhouse 3. Oh boy, they're all slaughterhouses. A rotting corpse. Maybe she's just sleeping? No, she's not, Charlotte. She's not sleeping. Okay, they're all slaughterhouses, I see. This must be Slaughterhouse 7. Okay. New save file? Okay, let's start from number 1 again. Let's not waste too much time here. Alright, we'll, we'll do file 1 again. 5. Okay, let's do this in order. Let's go to... Slaughterhouse 1 first. I think it's all the way here, past the dead bodies. And... Here? No, wait. Is this Slaughterhouse 4? Because there's 4 eyes. I forgot. No, no. It's 1. So let's go in. What's this? Enjoy the vacation with style. Bowsaw. It's always here when you need it most. Comes with two blades. Cool. We're not taking that, though. A weapon would come in handy, though. <laughs> not when you know, uh, not when you don't know how to use it. Yep. Well, you do have a point. I have the worst marks in gym class. Uh oh. Yeah, we're not taking those. Ways to find if your neighbor's possessed by God. Shoot him and see what happens. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, let's see. Oh, save. Nice. What's this? She is us. We are her. Pleasant. Not ominous at all. Okay, I guess we don't need to go in order. We need to go from left to right. The third. And no one in these rooms. Oh. There's no one in these rooms. Only the corpses. This isn't gonna come to life, right? Another dead body. This looks kind of like an 8, in a way. Hmm. Then let's see where else to go. Let's go to this one now. Oh, 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 what was that? Bad end. Executed? Oh, so I lucked out that one time. Well, uh, good, good, to, good to know. Good to know. Okay, let's uh, not enter there, okay? That was a... Uh, I guess they're not all dead. Let's uh, let's skip that. Let's skip that one. Let's save here. Maybe we do have to run there, but... Oh, the door won't open? Okay, we'll skip that. How about this one? Four. Okay. Okay, I see a door. And I don't have the password. Should have expected that. But that's okay. Okay, how about these ones? The second. The fourth. The first. Okay, let's go through the first door. Oh, wait. These do look like numbers. Hold up. These look like numbers. Oh, yeah, that's a four. That's a four. Oh, this is a cool puzzle. That's four. Okay. Four. Four, nine. Four, nine. The other one's eight. Four, nine. Four, nine, eight. 4981. Thank you, thank you. 4981. 4981. Gotta remember that. 4981. Wait. 4981. Oh, that's a cool puzzle. Follower mask obtained. Oh. Get one today for free. Executioner mask. Puts the cute into execute. An absolute must have for all ladies and gentlemen. How do I look? Oh, you look very handsome, Felix. Rather menacing. Oh, yeah, look look how handsome you look. 
Oh, we're so cute. We have matching masks. I ship these two so hard. You don't even know. They're, whether platonically or romantically, they're both so cute together. Okay, let's yeah, let's save and then we can go into this house. Here we go, the one where we died. There we go. Hello. Oh, they're not even talking to us. A rotting corpse. I wonder if these Pythias weren't wearing masks. Maybe that's why. Okay, let's see. There's a stack of notes on the table. Okay, I'm not remembering this. I'm gonna I'm gonna write this down. Okay. I've obtained it. We're good, we're good. I'm gonna look at these bodies, and we're gonna find where to put this code into. I think. Okay, so... Well, actually... Maybe... Oh, wow, the note was here this entire time. Well, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Better safe than sorry, right? Which... Where do we put this code in, though? That's my question. Oh, and put a password. Oh, yeah, it's this door. Okay, let, let's try this again. Um, let's see. I'll look at my notes. Three, seven, five, two, nine. There we go. What's this? Christmas morning, you will be happier with the shotgun. <laughs> no, thank you. Everyone is born to execute. Uh, no thank you. All, uh, an all-family adventure. God hunt. No thank you. <laughs> Buy our air-powered guns for an unforgettable fun experience. Uh, Weisman. What, Weisman? Weisman? Weisman gun. Barrels of fun. When you can't sleep, don't count sheep. Count on your chainsaw. <laughs> wow, this is fantastic. Who's this? So that's how they portray oracles here. She's beautiful. Just for your information, oracles do not have a physical form nor a gender. The one depicted here is no more than a young Pythian priestess. I literally am switching between Pythian and Pythian. Please don't mind me. Let's go this way. Here. Why for quality? Okay, now that's a... That's a message I can stand behind. I think I heard something behind the door. I hope it's not the executioners. Right now, we are the executioners, remember? Now let's explore some more first. <laughs> I'm not ready quite yet. I want to explore everything first. Let's look here. This side. Become an executioner today. Sign up for the God Hunt by calling us. Feeling oppressed? Your life is a wreck? You did nothing wrong! Get your revenge by joining the God Hunt today. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that, but... Okay. Then let's get going. Okay, open the door now. Yes. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Maybe she's just sleeping? I don't think they're sleeping. One of the bis... <laughs> Sorry. One of the dismembered bodies is moving. <gasps> She's still alive. Well, well, hello, dear executioners. You're so tiny, yet you're the ones who came to end the life of our last child. How ironic. Come forth and swing your blade. Do not make us wait any longer. Um, I'm very sorry, but we won't harm you in any way. You won't? How come? Well, for starters... We're not one of... <laughs> well, for starters, we're not one of your kind. We take off our masks. The girl extends her weak hands to my face. Just two eyes. You are merely a traveler. Uh, am I missing something? Hush. We're speaking to a real oracle. The creator of all that exists in this universe. This body is just a dying vessel. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you. You seem to be a good child. We believe we've known your parents once. Oh. <laughs> the girl coughs up blood. <gasps> you should leave these lands, for we do not have much time left. What about this girl? She can no longer be saved. But we, we wish to be with our children until the very end. 
Oh, that's actually kind of sweet. But they're only corpses. We should leave Charlotte. Right. Will we meet again? Seek and you shall find. Oh. We should put on the mask again. What are we doing? Okay. How to. <laughs> put on your mask, Charlotte. Felix. Guys. You need to put on your masks or else we're going to be... We're going to be destroyed at first sight. Okay, well... Out we go, I guess. Okay, wait, wait, we gotta save. Do the save room. Somehow I have a feeling it'll be the last channel we visit. Well, it might be not far from the truth. Well then, let's go. I feel like I have to apologize. For what? Many things. Running away. Putting you in danger. Making you come here. I found what I was looking for yet... I feel no satisfaction at all. I didn't have the slightest idea of what happened in this place. I still don't. I thought Uncle would recognize my achievements if I wrote a paper on oracles, a phenomenal entity. Yet, this oracle and their universe reek of death. I was 20 billion years too late. You must be thinking how meaningless this journey was. Feel free to laugh at me. Oh, Felix, I would never laugh at you. Oh, let's hug him. Yeah, let's hug him again. It's okay. Please stop blaming yourself. Isn't everything in our life pretty much meaningless? Uh, I guess that's a way of comforting him. We're so tiny, aren't we? Like worms. Or maggots, even. Oh, Charlotte, darling, I don't think this is how you comfort someone. Yet, we consider ourselves important. And we do everything to benefit ourselves. Isn't that what's laughable? Besides, I like going on adventures with you. For me. It's like being with a friend. What's up with that pseudo-intellectual monologue? Don't try to seem smarter than you are, human maggot. Aren't we already friends? Oh, my heart, my heart. If, if you say so. Ahem, what are we waiting for? Let's go in. These two, I love these two so much. Applause, applause. Welcome, welcome, dear guests. We were waiting for you. Now we can finally have a talk. Well then, did you enjoy the show? Was it not to your liking? The show? Well, of course. All the other worlds you've visited. There used to be an infinite number of channels, you know. Now they've turned into mere recordings of their past glory. If I may ask, what happened to this world? Many, many things. A long time ago, we used to be called a god, although we were never one. Our own children raised a knife against us. We've used to have a thousand hands, yet they've cut them all off, and now we are powerless. We used to observe the world with billion of eyes, yet they gouged out every single one, and now we are blind. We used to walk in leaps and bounds through the worlds we've created, yet we can no longer take a single step as our legs were taken away. The creations we dearly loved regardless of their deeds destroyed themselves, and now we are alone. Yet we forgave them for their sin, and we forgive you. You see, the universe we've created is dying. Nothing exists anymore. All we can do is indulge in the memories of the past, no matter how distorted they are. Soon, we'll fall apart. So will this land and those walking on it. That would be troubling. We absolutely have to return home by tomorrow's morning. Well, there is a way, human child. Do you wish to try? Yeah, let's do it. Input air? What? What do I have to do? Put your hands on the screen, would you? Are you sure about this? Well, there's no other way we can leave. Didn't you hear the oracle? You would not have listened to me either way, would you? Even though I don't want to cause trouble for anyone in the end, I'm quite a troublesome person, aren't I? I put my hands on the screen. Oh, what's gonna happen? 
the oracle. No, the god of this world puts their palms to match mine on the other side of the screen. I can only vaguely remember what happened next. I accepted the god into my heart, and we walked home hand in hand. Everything that I was became her, and everything that she was became a part of me. Together, we said goodnight to the dying world. All the life, the planets, the stars, the black holes, even the atoms have ceased to exist. One by one, the channel switched off. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, well, well, back to normal now. The Oracle used my body as a vessel and used up all the remaining power she had to bring us home. Thanks to that, we were able to make it home back safely. While we were away, not a second passed in our world. That was quite a story, my dear. To personally meet an oracle, even a dying one. What great luck you've run into. Well, who would have known? Do you always have to wear this creepy mask when you see me? I know you're using father's body as a container to talk to me anyways. <laughs> father's body? Uh, okay. Easy with the tongue, dear. I thought it would be inconsiderate of me to have a cha uh, chat with you while using someone you know as a vessel. But if you insist, the Umbrella Man takes off his mask. <gasps> oh, that's so sweet. I wonder who the mother is, though. Better now? Yep, much better. Your eyes have such a pretty color. Or the yellow. Say, Umbrella Man. Hmm? Do you happen to know the person I've met in the TV world? Why are you so sure there was anyone there at all? Well, that's because... I committed an unimaginable sin, yet I only vaguely remember it, as if I washed it from the side. Your naivety never ceases to amaze me. Of course, we had to edit your source code shortly after you came back. I can't tell her the truth, can I? You're talking as if we're in a video game. Most of the worlds are code-based, my dear. As you say. But why would you do that? Those memories were unnecessary. Remember, we do not want you to fail your education program. It's already messed up enough with an oracle becoming a part of you. I'm sure Mr. Seth will be greatly upset if you two go around causing havoc when he isn't looking. <laughs> oh, I'm looking all right. <laughs> we both know I'm not like that, sir. <clears throat> By the way, I'm rather surprised you were able to contain a godlike entity without all of your life-supporting systems collapsing. Probably she was too weakened to do that much damage to my body. Hmm. What has become of them now? She's still sleeping. I wish we had talked more. Even after seeing her memories, I still don't know much about her. The Oracles. What exactly are they, really? One could compare them to stars, reaching the end of their lives. They gradually lose all their powers and become infantile white dwarves. Think for yourself. Would a god capable of creating a new life from zero care for such insignificant beings like you? <laughs> Aren't you talking to me right now? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> good one. Well, isn't that great that you've met a new friend? Now, take your pills and go to sleep. Wouldn't want you to nod off in your lessons. Although... They only postpone your unemployment status. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for finding uh, an hour to spend with me. Good night, Mr. Umbrella Man. Good night, little Charlotte. Received pills. Thank you, uh, Umbrella Man. I'm off to sleep then. Sleep well. Oh, no, no more TV time? Okay. Goodbye. I'm not entering any more TVs. Gotta take the pills first. Okay, okay, let, let's save. I can save again. Woo! This is pal seven. And then I'll take the pills. Abilify. Okay, 100 milligrams, 30 tablets. Took the pills. Don't know what that does. Oh my gosh, wait, what? It's in color now. Wait, can I check the other rooms? Oh wow, that's so cool. 
table were inside. So did the pills just like give this place some color, some flavor, some texture? It's warm by the fireplace. Flowers. Table were inside. So no, no more soap. <laughs> this is rather normal. Dear Charlotte, I'll be home late. Yep. Mom bought some pomegranates and other fruit. Oh yes, pomegranates. Wait, wait let, let me check the paintings too. Actually, this is so cool. A painting. Okay, I should have ex expected that. <laughs> but still. Okay, how about this? Is it still locked, this room? Oh, it's- Oh, it's an attic now? The door leads to the basement. I'm too sleepy to wander around. Let's sleep, Seth. Wait, we must explore. We must explore first. Which way was the locked room, then? Okay, this is the library. Yep, I remember this. Interesting. Okay, okay, now- Wait, let's just check this room one more time. <laughs> wow, he's gone! Umbrella Man! Enough TVs for this week. I agree. I agree. Interesting. Hi there. Let's take the toy. I take the toy with me. A teddy bear. I don't think I want a teddy bear. An empty basket. <gasps> Hi, May Cat. Meow. <laughs> okay, I guess we can sleep now. In this perfectly normal bed. I wonder if I'll see space fish in my dreams. <laughs> Good night, Charlotte. Oh, Seth is so beautiful. I can't get over it. I hug my rabbit toy. Good night, Felix. Good night, Umbrella Man and Oracle. Good night, Guardian Angel who watches over me. <sighs> Hello, Charlotte. Episode 1. Junk food, gods, and teddy bears. End. Thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed the game as much as I enjoyed making it. See you next time in episode 2. Ah, that was so good. I'm so happy I played it. Well, as you can see, that was only episode one. There are a total of three episodes here. I'm gonna first play a different game before I jump back into uh, episode two, because episode two, like if you thought this was dark, uh, the other games, well, uh, let me just tell you something. The other d games are gonna take it to a whole different level. <laughs> I hope you look forward to it though. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.